Hello, and welcome to episode 6 in the data pack tutorials. We're in version 1.21. Uh, we're going to be detecting a block with ray casting, proper ray casting, not slow cast like we've been doing in commands. So let's have a look at the effect. I currently am just running the command in chat, and we're going to find a block that's within a certain distance, and we're just going to instantly turn it to gold. That is what we're going to be doing. So I can turn it. Oh! It helps if you actually run the command. There we go. Instantly turn it to gold. Give me that command. Instantly turn it to gold. Okay, obviously you don't have to run the chat. Uh, you don't have to run the command in chat. I'm doing that just for the demonstration purposes. Um, you can run it any way you like. Anyway, I'm waffling again, as habit does. Where's my little thing? There it is. So, let's get on and build it now. I think I've gone mad. Okay, we're going to start out with our basic data pack. If you don't know how to get this far, watch episode one. Um, I've removed the tick function and tick JSON because I'm not going to be using it. And But I do want some scoreboards. So I'm going to go into load and I'm going to make myself a couple of scoreboards. I am going to have scoreboard, objectives, add, ray, steps. That's going to be number of steps our raycast will take before it stops automatically. We don't want it obviously just shooting off forever. Maybe you do, but that doesn't sound like a good idea. And then I'm just going to copy that and paste it there and have ray success. And this will be a zero or one. Have I found a block? Basically, if it's one, it's found a block. If it's zero, it hasn't, and it'll keep going. So let's save that. Now I like to do the unload, so I'm going to right click that copy it in fact i could just use keyboard shortcut i'm going to paste it back into function paste and now i've got a copy of the load i'm going to rename that rename and i'm going to call it unload make sure we spell it correctly unload there we go in fact well it's my function name i can spell it however i like but if i call it you load i'm not going to remember that later let's make a couple of changes is now I have unloaded and I'm going to be removing those two objectives I made. That's just so I can type one command to remove everything at once. Not so much of a problem when you've only got two objectives to remove, but I still like to do it. Okay, let's move on to the actual raycast itself. We'll get rid of unload and load. And in function, I'm going to keep things tidy, so I'm going to make a new folder, raycast. And in Raycast, I am going to make, I think we'll we'll have a start ray. So this is going to sort of initialize it. So we'll have start ray mc function. And in here, first thing I'm going to do is how many steps do we want the, the ray to go? So scoreboard, players, set at s. So that's going to be the person running the command, the person who is the executor, ray steps, and I'm going to have 50. Now, because we're going to be teleporting the raycast by 0 0.1 of a block each step, 50 steps will be five blocks. So 10 steps would be one block. So this is going to, this is going to send the raycast out a maximum distance of five blocks. If you wanted to go further, let's, so obviously if we put 100, we're going to be going 10 blocks. Uh, five blocks, I think, is how far you can reach by default, so we'll keep that. And then we are going to set the success. So let's copy that. We'll set ray success to zero because it's not successful yet. We haven't even started it yet. So a zero. And then we're going to run a function. Function. And we haven't made it yet, but we we'll call it IDYT. So my namespace zero zero six. That's my namespace here. My namespace. And then we'll have to look into Raycast. And I'm going to call this Ray. And you'll see because we're using the extension Datapack Helper Plus by Spyglass, it is telling me well, you don't have. That function. That function doesn't exist. So we're going to have to make that function. So still inside Raycast, let's make another file. And we'll call it Ray. 
dot mc function. And now it doesn't auto check it, but if I just remove a letter off the end and put it back, there we go. We can see it's happy now. So if I know where that is, let's save that one. Now let's go to Ray. What are we going to do in the Ray? Well, first thing we're going to do, has it been successful? So we will execute unless, <laughs> stop it, unless block at those coordinates, Minecraft air. So unless it's air, in fact, what we could do here, we could probably use a list. Can we use a list there? Yeah, there we go. So we did block lists in episode three. Here's a place where you could use a block list. We could say if block if block equaled from um, my my custom block list, then do something. We're not this time. If you're interested in that, let me know. I think you could probably work it out with uh, this tutorial and tutorial number three. We're just going to look for air. Oh, but now we do have the problem. There's three types of air. There's air, cave air, and void air. So if I just put air and then I go down into a cave, this probably isn't going to work. So what I should do is I should use Minecraft air. Now that is a vanilla block tag list, which contains air, void air, and cave air. Cool. Okay. So run function and we're going to say you've hit the block so i'm just going to use that one there just so i can auto tab it there we go say ray but i'm going to take ray off and say hit block and it's giving me that message again well you don't have this function yet that's fine so we will execute hit block unless it's going through air that makes sense Okay, what do we want to do next? Well, maybe it's still in air, in which case it's going to keep going. So let's remove one from the amount of steps. Scoreboard, players, remove at S, ray steps one. Okay, so it's going to check. It's going to take one off. Uh, and then it's going to end. Well, that's no good. We don't want it to end. We want it to run a game unless it's hit a block or it's run out of steps so we will execute if score ray oh we forgot the selector ray steps matches one or higher so if you still have steps left then we'll do it and if score ray success matches zero so you still have steps left and you haven't found a block yet then we will positioned boink 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 0 0.1 of a block forward run Function, sorry, my brain freezed then for a second. Run function, ID YouTube 006, Raycast, and then we want, what do we want to say now? We want to run this again, Ray. Now, my command has gone off the edge of the screen, and Foggy gave me a nice little tip. If I press left alt and z it does wrapping so there we go let's just clear this up a bit so we've got rid of that so it's wrapped the command onto the next line so i can see the whole thing at once which is really nice so thank you very much for that tip i didn't even know about that that's pretty cool so we're going to execute unless it finds air hit block so if it finds any block that's not air it's going to run that function which we don't have yet and we're going to remove a step and then if it's still got steps left and it's not been successful, we are going to move the position forward a bit and run this function again. So we're going to keep moving forward slowly until we hit a block. When we do hit a block, 
we will run the function hit block. So let's make that function. Raycast new file hit block dot mc function. Okay, we've definitely got a little mistake there. Right. Now we can go back in here and we can just update this. There we go. You exist now. Let's go into hit block. So what are we going to do if we hit the block? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to say you were successful. So that's going to stop that Ray, that this function here. It's going to stop Ray continuously calling itself. So let's say you were successful. So scoreboard players set at S. <laughs> hey, I'm having trouble. At S, Ray success one. You have been successful. And now our little Raycast is sitting inside the block. We can run any commands we like. I'm just going to do something really simple. I'm going to do set block at those coordinates and we'll just set it to stone. So save that. We've got a little white dot above our Ray function. So we haven't saved that one. Let's save that one. Okay. Now the player will run as themselves start ray we will set the steps to 50 we will say you haven't been successful we will call the function ray we go to ray we will check if there is air if there is not air we will say we've hit a block if there is air we will remove one from the steps then we'll check they've got steps left they haven't been successful and if those are true we will run this function again so we're just going to go whoosh and go forwards on the other hand if there was no air there, we're going to run hit block. And in hit block, we're going to set success to one and we're going to change it to stone. That feels pretty good. Let's pop off to Minecraft. Here we are. And let's do a reload. Now I need to run that command. The command to run it is a little bit odd. Obviously, you can run this from your data pack. I'm just going to run it in chat because we're just doing a test. So you could say, oh, if the player eats this item, then run the raycast. If the player gets this advancement, run the raycast. If the player places a block, run the raycast. You get the idea. I'm just going to run it in chat. So I'm going to execute as me. So I'm running the command at myself. So it knows where to start the raycast. And I'm going to do anchored eyes positioned at those coordinates and then strangely enough I'm going to do anchored feet which seems a bit odd but it's described as a little quirk of the way Minecraft works otherwise it's going to keep adding my distance from my feet to the eye so it's going to keep shooting up in the air where the position is this will keep it running at my eyes there's probably a better description in the Raycast wiki on Reddit where I got this from so I'll, I'll put a link for that in the description it's worth reading through just so you've got a bit of a better idea of what's going on what am i going to do though what function i'm going to run a function and i'm going to run start ray okay now i'm looking quite far away so nothing happened and i reckon that's because that's more than five blocks so let's look at a block right here and we'll just run the same function again bang instantly it's turned to stone Nice. Oh, I don't know why I did that. So we can build a little tower if we wanted. Uh, can I fly? And we can, let's pick the top one. Let's run that command. Instant stone. This is the advantage of a data pack. The ray cast is pretty much instant. Unlike slow casts, which we do with commands, we've got to send out that entity who slowly travels across the world. We've got instant speed. Um, Let's go. Well, basically, we're done. Let's go back, have a little look. We can obviously change this from stone. Let's let's do a bit of gold, um, gold block. We'll be King Midas. Let's save that. We'll go back to here. Don't forget to do the reload. And if I run the same command again, the only difference is this time we're now changing stuff to uh, gold. Cool. You have. A very very simple raycast which is getting the position of the first block that's not air cave air or void air and it's turning that into a gold block now let's go back to here 
Let's change one more thing. Let's go to start ray. And let's just change the ray steps. So let's change that to, let's say 200. And we'll save that. And we'll go back. We'll do a reload. So now it's going to work from 20 blocks away. Before it didn't work, but here that'll probably work about there, won't it? Let's try that. Bang. Instant. Doesn't matter if it's further away. It's just straight there in pretty much, well, I think it's one tick, actually. Uh, and we've uh, checked our block. There we go. We could keep waffling on for ages. That is our simple block detect using a raycast. Obviously, we're executing the command in chat. You're going to want to link it to something, something else. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask, because I'm always up for more ideas and stuff. So, there we go. I hope you like that one. A little bit more interesting than just doing sort of a block tag lists and entity tag lists. But we do have to do some boring stuff sometimes too. Anyway, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.